Hi, families. Happy Easter. Can you guys say happy Easter? You guys sound great. We are so excited to celebrate Easter with you. Are you guys ready to go on a very special Bible adventure? Shake your hands high in the sky. Me too, friends. But before we see what Emily and Shine are up to, we have our very special Easter prop talk. Can you guys clap? Can you clap your hands? Yes, are you guys excited? Okay, I have something very special for you guys. You're gonna wanna pay attention. Are you ready? Are you listening? Wiggle those listening ears. Great job, friends. All right, let's see what I find first. What is this? Is it an Easter egg? Friends, do you guys hear anything? Do you think there's something inside my Easter egg? Yes, do you guys think I should open it? Yes, okay, let's see what's inside. What is this? It's a nail. They nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the cross. It hurt him really bad. Can you guys show me your sad face? Oh, those are some sad faces, you guys. All right, let's see what else we find about the Easter story. Friends, I have a yellow Easter egg. Do you think there's something in this one? I think you might be right. I hear something, should I open it? All right, let's see what it is. This is a rock. They put a rock in front of a cave where they put Jesus' body. Let's see what else we learn about Easter. Do you guys wanna learn some more? Yes! All right, friends. What color is this Easter egg? You guys are so smart. It's purple. Let's see, do you guys hear anything? Okay, friends, I think you're right. I think there's something in here. Should I open it and see? All right, what is this? It's a crown of thorns. They put a crown of thorns on Jesus' head. It hurt really bad. Can you guys say, ouch? Yeah. All right, friends, I have some more parts of the Easter story. Are you guys ready? I wonder what color we'll find next. What color is this? Orange, you guys are so smart. Do you guys think there's something inside this one? I think you're right. Should we open it and see? Yes. All right, what is this? You're right, it's a cross. Jesus died on a cross so that we could be friends with God. All right, friends, I have one more Easter egg. Are you guys ready? Shake your hands high in the sky if you're ready. All right. Friends, what color is this one? Uh, I can't get anything past you, you're so smart. Okay, friends. Huh, I don't think I hear anything in this one. Do you guys hear anything? No? Should we open it and see what's inside? Okay, let's see. <gasps> friends! There's nothing in this Easter egg. It's empty because it reminds us that Jesus' body isn't in the tomb. Jesus isn't dead, Jesus is alive. Friends, I had so much fun learning the Easter story with you. The Easter story reminds us that Jesus makes me God's friend because I believe he lives again. Friends, are you guys ready for our very special Bible adventure? Me too. Let's see what Emily and Shine are up to. On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. So much in the Bible for me to know on my Bible adventure. I want to know that God is real. I want to know how I could be his friend. I want to know who Jesus is. I want to find out what the Bible's all about. Hey, do, 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 do. A Bible adventure. I'm gonna learn my memory verse. I'm gonna pray and talk to God. 
I'm gonna sing new songs to God and keep singing the songs all week long. Oh, do 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 la 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 la. On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. Church is a fun place we can't go on a Bible adventure. I just got a message from Shine. How can I be God's friend? Hmm. I'm going on a Bible adventure to find out. Shake your hands high in the sky if you want to go with me. Woohoo! <laughs> Hello? Hello? Emily, do you want to go on a Bible adventure? I do want to go. Friends, who do you think would be inviting me to go on a Bible adventure? Let's see if you're right. Come in. <gasps> Dollars and donuts. It is shine. Let's get going. Wait, Emily, we can't go yet. Oh, yeah, I have to pack my adventure bag. <sighs> shine, will you help us figure out which picture passes will tell us how we can be God's friend? Yes, we'll all work together. Put on your adventure bags. The first picture pass is something made out of wood. It looks like the letter T. Do you know which one it is, friends? My friends say it's the cross. <laughs> Good job, friends. It is the cross. Open up your adventure bags. The cross is in my adventure bag. What's next? Think about writing your name with a pencil. When you make a mistake, what will you use to fix it? Something to fix my mistake. It's pink, too. <gasps> oh, I think I know what it is. What do you think it is? It's an eraser. Put the eraser in your adventure bag. What's the last picture pass? I have room for one more. It's sticky. Sticky? Like a sticker? Yes, and it helps your ouchies get better. Friends, do you know what I'm talking about? Great job! It is the bandage! The bandage is in my adventure bag. Let's zip our adventure bags together. Now it's time to fly. Here we go. Hmm. A cross, an eraser, a bandage. How do these things make me friends with God? They won't make you God's friend, but they'll help you remember somebody who will. Wait, somebody makes me God's friend? <laughs> yes, somebody very special. Somebody who is the son of God. Friends, do you know his name? It's Jesus. But how does Jesus make me friends with God? I'm glad you asked. The answer is in the Bible. The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust. It's right and true. Oh. A happy Sunday. Since it's a story about Jesus, you can find it in the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are the four books of the Bible that tell us all about his life here on earth. Will it answer the question, how can I be God's friend? Let's watch it and find out. Sunday morning, some women went to put burial spices on Jesus' body. They knew a big stone was covering the tomb's entrance and wondered how they would move it. When they arrived, the stone had already been moved. Jesus' body was gone, and there were angels in the tomb. Jesus is alive, the angel said. Go tell his disciples. 
the women told the disciples, and Peter and John ran to Jesus' tomb to see for themselves. All they found were Jesus' burial cloths. They went back home confused. Later, the disciples were gathered together in a room. They were talking about what had happened when Jesus appeared to them. They were terrified. They thought he was a ghost. Don't worry, said Jesus. See my hands and feet? It's me. Touch me. Go on. You can't touch a ghost, and ghosts don't eat either, but I'm feeling really hungry. So he ate some fish. Then he taught them. The scriptures are clear, he said. The Messiah was supposed to suffer and die, and then be raised from the dead. Now tell the world what you have seen. Let everyone know that their sins can be forgiven if they turn to God. It's possible because of what I have done. Bloomin' Blossoms! Jesus was dead and now he's alive again! That's right, Emily. Jesus rose from the dead to make us all friends with God. Jesus did that so we could be friends with God? I still have a lot to learn. No worries, Emily. Just remember the Bible story and your picture passes. Oh yeah, the picture passes. Say them with me, friends. A cross, a bandage, an eraser. Help me remember them as we try to find the answer to the question, how can I be God's friend? And I'll see if Blinky knows how he can be God's friend. See ya. Bye, Shine. Oh, I wonder who that could be. I'm expecting Emily. Think it's her? Come in. It is Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi, Guy. <laughs> Good to see you. What's up? Well, I want to know the answer to the question, how can I be God's friend? I was just reading that story in the Bible. We were too. Friends, tell Guy who died but came alive again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you're talking about. Jesus makes me God's friend because I believe he lives again. Leaping lily pads, that's the answer. Jesus makes me God's friend because I believe he lives again. Jesus made a way for us to be friends with God when he died on the cross for all our sins. That reminds me of one of our picture passes. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is made out of wood and looks like the letter T. Sweet sassy molassie, it is the cross. <laughs> <laughs> all of the sins of the world had to have a big punishment. Jesus took the punishment for all our sins when he was hung up on a big wooden cross and died. Oh, that sounds so sad. It was sad, but it's wonderful at the same time. Jesus made a way for us to be friends with God forever. Wow, <laughs> I am friends with God. I told Jesus that I believe he died on the cross and that he came to life again. Then I asked him to forgive me for all my wrong choices. I let Jesus be the boss of everything I do. And I tell others about him all the time. I am a friend of God. <laughs> there are a lot of verses in the Bible about all of those things, but I have a very special one for you today. <gasps> Wiggle your ears if you want to learn it with me, friends. <laughs> okay, watch this. Romans 10, 9. Believe in your heart, bum, 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 that God Raised him from the dead. Woo! Oh, mama's pajamas, that was fun. I want to learn it too. Okay, repeat after me. Okay. Romans 10, 9. Romans 10, 9. Believe in your heart. Bum, 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 bum. Believe in your heart. Bum, 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 bum. That God. That God. Raised him from the dead. Woohoo! <laughs> Raised him from the dead. Woohoo! <laughs> okay.
Okay, I got it. Let's do it again. <laughs> okay, okay. All together now. Romans 10, 9. Believe, Believe in your heart. Bum, 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 bum. That, that God, God raised him from the dead. dead. Woohoo! <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> I do believe in my heart that Jesus is alive! That's what I like to hear. Now don't forget, how can I be God's friend? Jesus makes me God's friend because I believe he lives again! Yep. <laughs> Jesus forgives me and he's the boss of my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool! <laughs> Bye, guy! Bye, Emily! Come on! Bye, friends! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm looking for my friend, Blinky. Can you see him anywhere? Blinky! Blinky! Where are you? Friends, do you see that glow bag yet? You do see him? Is he in the sky? No. Wait, where? Say it again, friends. Behind a rock? Why would Blinky hide behind a little rock? <laughs> oh my! He is there! Blinky, come out! We're here to play! <laughs> oh, I just can't. I don't want anyone to see me ever again. I need your help. I'll count one, two, three. Then we'll all say, come out, Blinky! Okay, ready? One, two, three. Come out, Blinky! Are you sure you want me to come out, friends? Okay, if you really want me to. Oh, Blinky, you are sad. Well, I know. I just don't think anyone will ever want to be friends with me. I did a bad thing and I'm embarrassed. I should go back behind that rock. No, Blinky. We always want to be friends with you. But you don't know what I did. I got mad and threw a fit. I yelled at my teacher at church. And everybody was staring at me. Everybody. They're all going to think I'm a bad bug. You did make some very wrong choices. But we all still want to be friends with you. What? Why, why would you want to be friends with me after I did such a bad thing? Why do we still want to be friends with Blinky after he made a wrong choice? We want to be friends with you because God wants to be friends with you. Well, how could God want to be my friend after I threw such a horrible fit? Blinky, God always loves you no matter what. That's what grace means. He keeps on loving us even though we don't deserve it. Live like you believe Jesus died for your sins on the cross. Remember, he came back to life. Jesus made a way for everyone to be friends with God. I do believe it, Shine. Jesus is my leader, and I want to live just like him and quit throwing fits. <laughs> then why did you get so sad? You are God's friend. That's a big deal. God will never stop being your friend. Whew! I'm so happy to hear that. I'm glad God has lots of grace to love all of us, even when we act naughty. I'm going to try again. No more hiding behind rocks. <laughs> That's great, Blinky. Now that you feel better, let's play. Yes, I'm ready to have some fun. Tag, you're it. Can I be God's friend? Will you answer with me? Jesus makes me God's friend because I believe he lives again. Great job. You know, Jesus did such a great thing for us. It wasn't easy for him to die on the cross. He had to be nailed to that wooden cross. That means they put real nails in his hands with a big hammer. 
and it hurt him so much. But Jesus wants you and me to be friends with God. So he did it anyway. Wow, Jesus must really love us. But what about the other two picture passes? A bandage and a racer. I hope Mr. Music will be able to teach us about one of these today. Come on, let's go find out. A knock? Who is it? It's me, Emily. Well, come on in, Emily. Hi, Mr. Music. My friends and I were just coming to ask you a question about Jesus. Jesus? He's who I sing my songs to. Yeah, but dying on the cross was so hard and it hurt him so much. Why did Jesus do that? It's because of grace. Grace? What does that mean? Grace means God loves you, even when you choose to sin, even though you don't deserve it. God always loves me? And he always wants to be my friend? Yes. Always. But God can't be friends with sin and wrong choices. Oh no, I've made wrong choices. That's why God gives us grace. God sent Jesus to die on the cross to take the punishment for all our wrong choices. Jesus was punished for my wrong choices? But Jesus never did anything wrong. He never even sinned once. He didn't deserve that. No, he didn't. But Jesus loves us so much, he did it anyway. Is he the leader of your life? Do you believe he died and came back to life again? Yes. Romans 10, 9. Believe in your heart. Boom, 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 boom. That God raised him from the dead. Woohoo! Then you're God's friend. When you make a wrong choice, ask God to forgive you. Jesus will erase that sin. Erase, like an eraser. <laughs> Grace means that Jesus died on the cross to erase all of our wrong choices. Now I can be God's friend because I believe he lives again. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of a song. We want to hear it. Clap your hands together with me, friends, so Mr. Music will play us a song. Okay, I'll play it. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive in me. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is the friend I need. Ready? Here we go. Repeat after me. Okay. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I believe he's alive. I believe he's alive. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I believe he's alive. I believe he's alive. That was great. Yeah, let's do it again. Okay. Jesus rose again, Jesus rose up from the dead. Jesus is the way, Jesus is the way to be God's friend. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Child of God, cheer me up when I am sad. 
make me smile when I am mad Every day you make me glad I am a child of God You cheer me up when I am sad You make me smile when I am mad Every day you make me glad I am a child of God I am a child of God I am a child learn on your Bible adventure. Hmm. <gasps> we learned that Jesus died on the cross and lives again. Romans 10, 9. Believe in your heart, boom, 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 that God raised him from the dead. woo -hoo! And Jesus erases our mistakes so we can be friends with God. But I'm not sure about the last picture pass. Oh, the bandage. It shows what Jesus does for our hearts. What do you mean? When you make a wrong choice, it makes your heart all broken inside. But Jesus is like a band-aid for your heart. He erases your wrong choice, then makes your heart all better again. And he makes me God's friend. I'm so glad that Jesus lives again and forgives all our mistakes, so my heart can be all better. Did you find out the answer to the question, how can I be God's friend? Yes, we did. Let's say it together, friends. Jesus makes me God's friend because I believe he lives again. Wow, my heart does feel better. Let's pray for our friends so Jesus can heal their hearts too. Bow your heads and close your eyes. We're going to talk to God together. God, thank you for giving us grace by sending your son Jesus to take the punishment for all our sins. God, I want each and every one of our friends to believe in their heart that Jesus died and rose again and make Jesus their leader. I pray that they'll all be friends with you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <gasps> Boggle my goggle, it's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye-bye! Friends, didn't we have so much fun on our Bible adventure? Me too! Do you guys know what happens next? You're right, it's picture passes! Who knows what this is? I can't hear you. It's an adventure bag. Can you guys put yours on with me on the count of three? One, two, three, whoosh! 
All right, friends, let's see which picture pass I find first. <gasps> what is this? That's right, it's an eraser. Jesus can erase sins. Friends, who died and came back to life so that we could have God's grace? That's right, Jesus. Great job, friends. All right, do you guys know which one is next? Let's see if you're right. What is this? It's a Band-Aid. Great job, friends. What is a Band-Aid for? That's right, it makes our owies feel all better. This Band-Aid reminds us that Jesus makes my heart all better. Can you guys point at your heart and say, all better? Great job, friends. All right, I have one more picture pass. Can you guys guess what it is? Let's see if you're right. It's the cross. The cross reminds us that Jesus died for me. Who died on a cross to make you friends with God? Jesus, you guys are so smart. And that is all of our picture passes. We had so much fun going on a Bible adventure with you. There's some questions on screen you can talk about with your families. Bye, friends.